GamesWeasel.com Review. The chances are that if you're interested in playing Fallout New Vegas, you've already played through Fallout 3 and thoroughly loved every minute of it like I have. So the good news is it looks and plays very similar, but that can also be seen as bad news as well depending on your perspective. Instead of being born, this time you're actually shot in the head and left for dead at the beginning of the game, and then wake up in a doctor's shack after you've been revived in the town of Good Springs. You soon remember that you were a courier and set about trying to track down the guy who killed you and what you were trying to deliver in the first place. And so off into the wilderness of the Mojave Desert you wander in search of your fate in whichever way you want to play it. It's not just a case of being good or bad this time either. There are now many factions and armies out there who you can side and fight with, and this affects how you're treated in different towns and camps. There are also a host of new monsters out there including really big geckos and new super mutants called nightkins who like to partake in a bit of clubbing. That's hitting people over the head, not dancing about in the dark to loud music. Once again, the play area is massive and of course you can visit the New Vegas Strip and try your hand at gambling to earn extra caps. There are also some interesting characters to meet, including people who think they're Elvis and companions who will help you out. These can be people, monsters and even a floating droid called Edie which can help you out in a tight spot. I think this is another corker of a game but it does just feel like a very big expansion pack for Fallout 3 and it's even weirder playing it at the start when you're very underpowered compared to what you're used to if you've already done everything you can in Fallout 3 including all those expansion packs. Still. You Live and Learn and Living Through New Vegas is another moody RPG where it really does feel like you're creating your own adventure. It's certainly keeping me amused for hours on end so it gets 9 out of 10. You've been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com